In this video, I want to provide you with a couple of examples. And one of those will be a stairway with level steps. The next will be the same stairway, the same distance, both vertically and horizontally. 40 foot level, six foot horizontal from the top of the upper walkway to the top of the lower walkway, which will have sloping steps to allow water to drain down and off the exterior stairway. And I'm not about to suggest it won't drain off of a stairway that is perfectly level. However, it's usually difficult to create perfectly level concrete steps. And then in our last example, we are gonna take a look at a walkway to provide you with three possible solutions for your next project like this. So the first step is going to have level treads and a rise of seven and three sixteenths inches. And this will be the same rise for each step. And the reason why I'm making the video is to provide you with an easy way to figure out how to slope the steps. I realize a lot of people know how to build stairs with level steps, but they might not know how to build them with sloping steps. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sloping stairway, which will be this one. And again, this stairway and this stairway have the same amount of steps and risers, except this one is going to be sloping a little bit. Now I just lowered it an inch, which will provide us with almost a quarter of an inch per foot slope. However, if I did a little bit of math, I could change this number to five and 15 sixteenths of an inch, providing me with a quarter of an inch per foot slope. Anything between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch is usually sufficient for an exterior concrete stairway. However, if something like this might require a permit, then I would definitely check with your local building department to verify all the information in this video. So each step here is going to be a little over six inches. And then we have a ramp over here that is going to provide us with a steeper slope than a quarter of an inch per foot. This is going to be sloping just a little bit over an inch and three quarters for every foot, every horizontal foot foot of measurement. And I would imagine most people don't want to build a walkway like this. However, I have seen plenty of them built. So if you don't like this design or this design, then something like this might work just fine for you. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the math involved to figure out the sloping step. So let's go ahead and break out our calculator and then let's walk you through the process. Now this should work for almost any project. And to simplify things, you're going to take and divide seven into whatever you have as the total rise. For example, if I have 72 inches and I divide that by seven, that's going to give me 10 10.28 and I can go ahead and round this number down to 10 or use the number 11 and see if I like that number better. Don't get stuck on one number when you're dealing with a large stairway. So we have the number 10. Let's clear it. Let's take and divide 72 divided by 10 equals 7.2. 7.2 is our total rise. And if I don't like that number, I can take 72 and divide it by 11. And if I like this number better, I can use this. So that would give me 11 risers at almost six and a half inches. However, I don't know what the length of those steps will be until I do a little more math. So now that I know I'm going to have 10 risers at 7.2 inches, I can go ahead and subtract the number Number one to find out how many steps I'm going to have because you're usually going to have one less step to the amount of risers. Then I can take the number nine and divide it into 480 inches or divide it into 40 feet, whatever is going to be easier for you. And remember 40 feet or 480 inches is the overall length of the stairway the horizontal measurement from the front of the first riser to the front of the last riser. And then once I divide that, I'm going to get 53.3 inches. And that's going to be the length of the step here, 53.33. Then I'm going to divide that by the number 12 because I'm looking for a per foot measurement. So 53.33 divided by 12 equals 4.44 or almost four and a half 
feet or the amount of increments per foot as a decimal. Then I'm going to take this number here and multiply it by 0.25 and that's going to provide me with 1.11 or almost one and an eighth inches. So let's go ahead and multiply it by 0.25 equals 0.11. Now, if I wanted it to be an eighth of an inch per foot, I would take this number here, 4.44, and multiply it times 0.125. And that's going to be just a little bit over half of an inch we would take off of the total riser height. And if I wanted it to be somewhere in the middle, then maybe something about three quarters of an inch would work just fine. So once I have the 1.11, I'm simply going to subtract it from our overall individual riser height of 7.2 inches, providing me with a 6.09 riser height. And hopefully all of that makes sense. And I do have other videos at the website, and I will try to put some links in the video description box to them on how you can build stairways like this after you have figured out what the riser height is going to be.